We enjoy watching the waves on the beach, how they build up and break on the shoreline, and how the water and things that swim in it swirl together. But how do waves actually form? They are generated by wind and the tides, thus through the ebb and flow. At a physical level, they are formed at the interface between two layers of different densities, such as air and water. However, there are not only the visible waves at the surface of the ocean, but also those underneath the surface, so-called internal waves, which spread out three-dimensionally. They also take their energy from the wind and tides. There are some differences to surface waves. Internal waves are created by the stratification of the ocean, which is caused by a decrease in the temperature with depth. Internal waves are much slower than surface waves when they break. This can take up to a day. The waves are also much longer and the crest of the wave is higher. If a tidal wave meets a major obstacle underwater, for example an ocean ridge, internal waves are generated. They can spread up to 1,000 kilometers and transport energy. It is this energy transport that researchers in the Transregio project Energy Transfers in Atmosphere and Ocean are working on. What is particularly interesting is the breaking of internal waves. They stir together water with different temperatures and therefore densities, and this is called mixing. At the millimeter scale, small vortices mix the water together, changing the density and thereby affecting the large ocean currents, which play an important part in the world climate. And although this exchange of energy is very important for climate models, it has not yet been included. The researchers wish to change this. To be able to simulate the global circulation of the ocean in climate models as realistically as possible, it is important to know exactly where the internal waves are generated and where they break. To do this, the researchers use satellite data or data collected from measurements made on a ship. Sensors are anchored at various depths in the water on the high seas. The sensors then measure the speed of the waves and record the upward and downward movements of the water in the waves. Just as we enjoy looking at waves in the water, researchers like to observe internal waves in the ocean. And the data obtained makes future climate models more accurate, improving climate forecasts considerably.